this lecture we'll discuss the most popular technique for solving initial value problems and this class of techniques are known as runge kutta method in the name of two famous mathematician runge and kutta who first proposed this method this method in contrast to euler method doesn't take this entire step h k1 in one shot instead it replaces this h k1 as a summation of several small small steps and by doing so it can have an arbitrary order of accuracy that is h to the power n plus 1 let us see that how this method works first we'll take up the huyen's method which is the second order runge kutta method and let us see that how it works once again this is a predictor corrector type approach so we predict the solution using euler and then we correct it so let's see what it is so consider we are solving this differential equation y prime equals f and the solution of a differential equation is same as doing numerical integration so when i integrate between xi to xi plus 1 on both side i know that what i will have is this yi plus 1 minus yi and numerical integration on the right hand side if i use for instance trapezoidal rule i'll get h by 2 f xi yi plus f xi plus 1 yi plus 1 now unfortunately this f x i plus 1 y i plus 1 is unknown we don't know the y i plus 1 yet and that is the problem so what we do here i approximate y i plus 1 as y i plus 1 star and this star value is the predicted value using euler type method which means If I use Euler type method, my y i plus one is y i plus h k one, where k one equals f at x i y i, and this value of y i plus one, I set it at y star. This is my predicted value. Now I take this predicted value, and I go back in this trapezoidal rule expression, and what I do here, this x i y i, I take it as this star value so now here the rule comes y i plus 1 minus y i equals h by 2 into k1 plus k2 k1 is the usual f at x i y i and k2 is the f at x i y i plus 1 which will be approximately equal to x i plus h and yi plus h k1 so this is coming from the euler this is yi plus 1 equals yi plus h k1 is the euler so now you can see this overall technique that what we have now this is my difference equation the good thing about this difference equation is that we are using trapezoidal rule this method we can show that this will be locally third order accurate and globally second order accurate so we have one order higher accuracy than euler but method is still it is explicit so that is the good thing and another point that you can see that this is explicit this is higher order accurate both are good you can also see that unlike euler where we were taking this entire h k1 in one shot here we were going h by 2 k1 plus h by 2 k2 so we are taking two small steps instead of one shot euler and by doing so we are still having explicit but we have a higher order accuracy we can generalize this approach taking many many steps just like this and we can have higher and higher order accuracy as we need and this generalization is the runge kutta method or we call this is an rk method 
So Euler method is essentially this is what we call is the first order Ranga Gupta, where we take one step. Then Huyen method is what we call second order Ranga Gupta. Here I take two step K1, K2, and I can move that way and I can create arbitrary order of accuracy. Just like here, I have this h to the power n plus 1. So I have n plus 1 order of accuracy. I can do so taking many, 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 many steps. So my k1 is always the value of the function. k2 is I am taking one tiny steps xi plus p1h, yi plus something q11, k1h. Similarly, I take k3. Here I go slightly different step of p2h in xi. yi, I am taking something from k1 and then something from k2. Then in the same manner, I go to k4. Here I am taking further step in x, yi, I am taking k1 and k2 and then something from k3. This is how I am taking the latest value of k's and in general, I can write that for kj, I will have xi plus pj minus 1h plus yi and I have this k1h, k2h, etc, etc up to kj minus 1h with some multiplication factors of q. In this manner, we can select the n in a way to achieve the desired accuracy. But we have several unknowns and we have to evaluate these unknowns such as this a, p, q's, etc are unknowns and we have to evaluate these unknowns. The nth order, the most generalized Ranga Gutta is not necessary for our discussion. Mostly what we use is the fourth order. In many of this commercial softwares also use fourth order or fifth order type Ranga Gutta, but they use the, the adaptive step size. So H is not a constant in uh, most commercial ODE solvers as well as uh, in Python sci-fi based solver also that is a, essentially a Rangaguta method, but it has adaptive step size, so H is not a constant there. The same idea is used in uh, MATLAB ODE solvers, uh, ODE45 or Octave ODE solver, the same idea is used. So we'll now see that uh, what we do in fourth order Rangaguta method, and we'll not get into the detailed derivation, rather we'll uh, develop our intuition that how to solve OD using fourth order Rangaguta method. So in fourth order Rangaguta method, what we do is that we have this K1, K2, K3, K4. There are four terms and it, it will be locally h to the power 5. So this would be fifth order accurate locally and globally it will be fourth order accurate. So in this fourth order Rangaguta method, you can see that when I write this K1, K2, K3 and K4, I have several unknowns here. I have here my unknowns are a and then i have this p1 p2 p3 and i have this q11 q21 q22 q3132333 so i have 6q 3ps and 4a so many unknowns here the way to get these unknowns are complicated and we will not discuss it in detail but essentially what we have to do, the essential technique that we use, we use Taylor series expansion to find this coefficient a, p and q. So each of this k2, k3, k4, we have to break in Taylor series and also this y i plus 1 equals y i plus something. This is also we have to break in Taylor series. We have to match the coefficient and that will give us some equation and then the remaining equations we have to make a choice which will give us the best order of accuracy. The detailed derivation I am uh, leaving uh, for your self-study. You can use this book by J.C. Butcher. It's a very famous book that introduced something we call Butcher Table. And this Butcher Table will give us the exact values of this a, p, and q's for higher and higher order uh, uh, n. 
सो इन फोर्थ ऑर्डर रंगा दिस के वन के टू के थ्री के फोर कम्स एज के वन इज ऑफ कोर्स एफ ऑफ एक्स आई वाई आई के टू इज एफ ऑफ एक्स आई प्लस एच बाई टू वाई आई प्लस एच के वन बाई टू के थ्री इज एफ ऑफ एक्स आई प्लस एच बाई टू वाई आई प्लस एच के टू बाई टू एंड देन फाइनली के फोर ऑफ एक्स एक्स आई प्लस एच वाई आई प्लस एच के थ्री एंड वंस आई हैव के वन के टू के थ्री के फोर आई कैन यूज दिस एक्सप्रेशन वाई आई प्लस वन इक्वल्स वाई आई प्लस एच बाई सिक्स के वन प्लस टू के टू प्लस टू के थ्री प्लस के फोर एंड दिस विल बी लोकली ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ एज टू द पावर फाइव इफ यू लुक केयरफुली यू विल सी दैट दिस इज एन अप्रॉक्सीमेशन ऑफ सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल दिस इज वन के हियर वन के ऑन राइट साइड एंड देन फोर के इन द मिडल सो दिस इज एसेंशियली सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल एंड दैट इज वाई इट कीप्स अस एन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ एज टू द पावर फाइव since this is the most popular scheme in initial value problem solution we will spend considerable time in this and we will solve some problem using fourth order rangakutta method but to begin with you can redo your exercise that you have used for solution of euler method is the same equation y prime equals minus 2x cube plus 12x square minus 20x plus 8.5 With an initial condition y at x equal to zero equal to one, you solve it using second order Runge-Gutta method. Write the computer program. This is very important uh, so that you understand how to do it before you actually implement the fourth order RK. Keep the same age, plot the result, and see that if the result changes from the Euler method, there should be. some visible changes because the order of accuracy is higher here that's all for this lecture thank you and i'll see you in next class